Hello and welcome to 7630 Blackshear Huber Heights. Standing out in the yard right now, looking at the front of this, this is darn near all brick. On the back it's brick, the only spot is right here at the top that's vinyl siding, and the gables are vinyl siding, but this is a solid, solid home. I'll show you more when we get out to the back here. But it looks like we have an updated garage door here, and this is a deep one-car garage. Updated roof, updated windows, mechanically updated. We'll see all of that when we go inside, but great curb appeal on this home. The driveway over here to the left has even been widened, so you can park two cars in the driveway, and you could extend it up the back if you wanted as well. Great home, great price. Uh, before we go inside, let's go out back and take a look. All right, so here I just came to the backyard where I'm standing on the back patio right now. Immediately to my left, we have a completely re-sided shed here. And this is a good sized shed, double door here. And then this section right here, you know, if this was all paved off, be a good additional parking pad for an additional car or recreational vehicle. Huge patio back here, yard is completely fenced in. Some nice hedges on the back there for privacy. Just a fantastic backyard. And then our newer Goodman air conditioner is right there. And this is a full brick home. So you can huff and puff, but you're not gonna blow this house down. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so it just came through the front door right here. We have new flooring on the entry. And this looks like it's just gonna be a standard coat closet, right? You open this thing up and check this out. Huge walk-in coat closet here. This is a ridiculous sized coat closet. I mean, that's the biggest coat closet I've ever seen. <laughs> and then going into the living room, this is brand new carpet. Uh, the time of me walking on it, I think I may be the first person to walk on this carpet other than the people who just installed it. Good sized living room, fresh coat of paint in here. Front window, new, that's a picture window in the middle. And then each side, Slides open. You can see where we just came from on the outside there. Give you another perspective of the living room. Now this door right here is our one car garage and it runs the full length all the way out there. So you can definitely get a car in there easily with storage. Coming down the hallway, have our guest bathroom here. There's updated ceramic tile on the floor. Good size vanity. Even a built-in linen closet, the mirror, the cabinets, everything stays. And then we have a shower tub over here. So good-sized guest bathroom here. Coming down the hallway, bedroom number one. This is in the front middle of the home. New carpet runs through here as well. And this is nicer carpet. It's not super cheap stuff. It's, it's the higher end stuff. Bedroom number two, this is on the front right of the home. Now all of these windows have been updated, so I won't repeat it over and over again, but all of these windows have been updated. This would be the owner's suite here. Uh, updated ceiling fan in here, again, windows. And double mirrored closets here to our left. And you do have an owner's suite bathroom. And this one has a walk-in shower. And it's very bright, very, very nice in here. Now coming back out of here, so we have three bedrooms and two baths on this side of the home. One thing I just noticed, we have crown molding in the living room here. And then walking in here, we can have a family room and or if you wanted to call it a dining room, it, you know, your call, but we have an updated ceiling fan here. There's the outside that we've already seen, and that's an updated sliding door as well, and the light coming in here is kind of wreaking havoc with my camera, there we go. This is how it normally looks when you're in here. So good space, again, can be a family room or a dining room, and we really have spot to put a breakfast table right here too if you wanted to use it as a family room. But the wall oven, the cooktop, the refrigerator, and the dishwasher all stay. Updated light fixtures in here as well. Kitchen sink overlooks the backyard, so you can watch the kids or dogs run and play, which was really important when my wife and I were looking at houses. Updated flooring here in our utility room slash mechanical room. Water softener stays. Updated panel box. Uh, 
2018 on the water heater and the furnace and the air conditioner both have been updated as well. And then we have a pantry cabinet in this room also. So great home in Huber Heights for the price, especially with the square footage and the updates. We've updated roof, updated windows, uh, the furnace, the water heater, the air conditioner updated. Guys, new carpet. All you gotta do is just move in and enjoy. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. And thanks for watching.